Hey friends, Kate Attack here. Welcome back for another episode of Dishonored. We are here at Dodd's place. And we're here to send a message. One way or another, we, we can, you know, e execute him or s send him a message. And because I'm trying to go for the least lethal playthroughs I possibly can, I know I've killed a couple people throughout this playthrough, but I don't think I've killed any of the, like, really important targets, except for the torturer, if you count him. I don't know. I don't know if you count him, but I did kill him. Um, but everybody else has been non-lethal so far. So, <laughs> uh, now we gotta figure out how to steal the pouch from his belt and leave him unharmed. So we could, we have sleeping darts. We very well could just knock him out, take his pouch, and boogie. Um, <laughs> mm. so I have two runes. I have two runes, and I don't really care to upgrade much of anything else, except for maybe possession at some point. Um, that needs five runes. But I, I would need these if I was doing like a lethal playthrough, I think. So. Ooh. Okay, now we gotta... Where the f frick was he? Oh yeah, he was in here. Okay, I wonder. I kind of want to... So... I want to see how many dudes are in here. Um... I don't want to be... Pretty sure there's just the two bros. Yeah, and so um, one of the things I could probably do is freeze time, sleep dart the both of them, grab the pouch and his key, and go. <clears throat> okay, first let's read some stuff. Dodd's log, the latest log entry. 18 years on this wretched rock in this city of filth. I felt the blood of scholars, of noble pedophiles, of guildsmen, of unfaithful lovers, of politicians who were far too just for their own good, and of law enforcers who came too close to bringing the wrong man to justice. Why should an empress be any different? Why should I feel the entire weight of this dying city crushing down on my back? Feels guilty. Corvo, Lord Protector, is of Circonos, just as I once was. I might have known that fact already, but it didn't matter until I recognized it in his face. It brought back distant memories of home and the optimistic young man I once was. What would I find if I went back there? Would I find that it is rotted from the inside, just like Dunwall? Or will it only appear that way because I'm the one who's rotted? <clears throat> Interesting self-reflection there. The Lighthouse. Excerpt from a recent historical work on King Sparrow Island. King Sparrow Island sits in the middle of the Ren Haven River, and up through the previous century, it was only used by fishermen and for occasional religious ceremonies. <clears throat> During the time of the Morley insurrection, the fort and naval dock were added to the island as a means of protecting the city from attacks by sea. In the time of the Rat Plague Crisis, shortly after the tragic death of the Empress Jessamine, Jessamine Caldwin, Dunwall's acting regent, Hiram Burroughs, commissioned the construction of a modernized military installation and lighthouse on the island. Burroughs Lighthouse, only recently completed, is widely considered to be one of the marvels of the modern age, humming with Sokolov's technologies powered by processed whale oil. <clears throat> the Royal Protector. Did I read this one? <clears throat> I don't think I have. I don't know. I'm going to read it anyways, just to be safe. All right. <clears throat> Excerpt from a historical record of government positions and ranks. Throughout the ages, rulers have always faced attempts on their lives. Once in a generation, the empire is rocked by the death of a powerful political or religious figure. As such, city-states across the Isles have devised varying strategies for protecting their leaders. In the capital city of Dunwall, each new emperor is allowed to appoint a royal protector. This is far more than a trusted bodyguard. 
much more revered than the hand-chosen guards defending Dunwall Tower or the food tasters. The royal protector is a court figure, given enormous latitude, who keeps constant company with the highest ruler in the known world. At the age of 12, the young monarch participates in the selection process, making the final decision about who will safeguard his or her life. While most of those chosen as royal protector have been men several times throughout his history, a woman has served well in that role. For the first time in Dunwall's history, a monarch has been slain by her own bodyguard. At the time of this writing, with Dunwall in the grip of the worst plague ever recorded, our fair Empress Jessamine Caldwin has just been murdered. The deed was done by her former royal protector turned assassin, Corvo Atano, who is still sitting in the Coldridge prison awaiting his deserved execution. Some argue that it is worth noting that Corvo Atano is the first royal protector in the history of the Empire born outside of the Isle of Crystal. Hmm. <clears throat> The Redshore Chamber of Commerce, excerpt from a book covering the various districts across Dunwall and their histories. Once the financial heart of the empire, the Redshore Financial District, was a hive of trade activity. No district employed more barristers, accountants, or indeed more security. And no part of Dunwall saw a greater flow of coin. When the flood barriers broke and the waters rolled in, the looting that followed was accompanied by an epic period of chaos and butchery. Those who could withdraw and move their assets did what they could. Others, with their wealth tied up in grand mansions and artwork, lost it all. When the last of the high society set had withdrawn and the lights went dark, Rudshore was a gloomy, crumbling shell of what it had been, inhabited by thieves, wild dogs, and rats. Once great palaces of commerce sat empty and haunted, or came to house killers and mercenaries, as well as anyone else looking to hide from the city watch. In mere months, the flooded district was settled upon as the most proper name for the place. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so there's some stuff in there, and there's also some stuff, like, down below. So here's what I want to do. So they both face that way. I kind of wonder, is there a window? Oh no. Hmm. Oh no, he disappeared. <laughs> he wasn't looking for me, was he? Oh. <clears throat> So, I mean, as long as these two don't see each other... How many sleeping darts do I have? Okay, I have two. Oh, shit. Okay, so here's what I can do. Great. Great, okay. Okay, so they both typically... Okay, so they do look around, but they, for the most part... They look the other way. Bunch of goodies down here. I didn't even notice him! <laughs> Oh god! I didn't even notice him. I am so glad he was turned the other way. That would have been... Uh... Oh, Dodd's key is needed for that too! Okay! Okay! Okay, so they are up farther. Okay, so they're up there. Uh, 
we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Bring you down here out of their eyesight, just in case. Because I don't trust anything. Okay. Okay. Um I'm going to I'm just going to save in case I completely bonk this up. Oh god. Okay. Oh. My heart clenched so hard. It is it is literally like beating in my throat right now. We're fine. Okay, what if I just sleep dart him? Ah, oh, damn it! I bunked it up! How, do, how does he have such, like, a, an immediate reaction to this shit? Like, oh my god. Holy nuts! Okay, so he can't even begin to spot me. That's That's the rule here. Okay. Okay, now we know the rules. He can't begin to spot me, and I don't know if he can be sleep darted. Nice. Oh shit, what? No way! Okay, so is he like not affected by time? Hang on. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try a couple different things. We are gonna try a couple different things and we're gonna get it and it's gonna be great. Oh lord, okay. Oops, sorry, buddy. Okay. I get down behind you, you little munchkin. Ugh. You little munchkin. I mean, I very well may have to just like. I don't know. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to mess around with this and, and figure out something. Hang on. Um. Okay. Make sure nobody is like coming into this room. Okay. Um. Can I listen to this without anybody seeing me? Ruined at last. Lord Regent. Royal Spy Master. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye, but now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. The laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. 
I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. So he's truly remorseful. That's interesting. That is that is honestly very interesting that he's that he's straight up remorseful. I shouldn't use my power to walk around. It's a waste. I mean, I'm I'm still pretty full up on uh Hero's remedy, but I should still not. Okay, we're gonna save here in case I bump this up anymore. I'm so nervous. But there are some boxes that I would very much like to open. What's in here? This was directly down below. Oh, wow. That is... Okay, there is a little box in here. I want. I need it. It was these two, right? Both of these? Yeah! Nice. Perfection. Okay. I. Okay, so there's possibly more stuff, but honestly, I don't think I really need to. I'm good. I'm nervous. Oh, there's a painting. There's a painting. Oh, that was my own sword. Wow, look at him. It's the torturer guy. <gasps> okay. Um, oh, and there's... Okay, there's a bone charm on this floor, but I may have to go up. There's a paper. Oh, and there's a rune. Okay, hang on. I may have to go... I don't know, back up and then down? How the frick do I... Oops, I did not mean to do that. So it's literally this floor, but like way the freak over. Okay. Oh no! Well, I guess I can get the rune really quick. As long as nobody shows up. Nobody else? Okay, alright. Now we need to go back up. So I don't think we want to go completely up. I think we want to go... No, we might have to. There might be like some stairs. And... I have no idea where it's at. I think it's outside. Oh god, I thought that was a person. I think it might be outside. It wasn't there before, was it? Oh yeah, I didn't want to go there because of the dogs. We're just gonna... Because I don't want to do anything. I don't want to... Oh god, look at that body. Ugh. Okay. I got what I wanted here. What else is there? Let's, uh... What is this? Oh, can't care anymore. Can't care anymore. Oh, those are the guys. Okay. Even in the terrible floods were not enough to wash the arms of them all. Yeah. There we 
go. All right, and then there was, I think I got him. Where is this tunnel though? I want to say I have to be out here. Probably. I feel like I hear footprints, like footsteps. But maybe not. I don't actually know where to go. It just says to go down. Maybe those are my own footprints that I'm hearing. Or footsteps. Probably. So I need to be way down. Way, 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 way down. So there's something I'm missing. Maybe this chain is what... Whew. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was gonna fall or not. Um... Oh, wasn't there a letter down this chain? There was a letter. It wasn't there, it was, yeah, here. All right, letter to the director. So that's it, we're closing down after all these years, after we've just unveiled the new statue of Desimine Caldwin, a broken wall and some rising water, and we're just going to abandon the building and split up our offices in the lesser districts? Are you insane? Has your brain turned to plague rats? Have you been drinking the outsider's piss? <laughs> Any of these explanations I would accept sooner than the relocation assignments we all found on our desks this morning. If this is truly how you plan to operate as our director, then no, I will not accept my relocation orders. Consider this my resignation. Percival Cox, former deputy chairman, Redshore Chamber of Commerce. Interesting. I wonder if I'll have to use possession or if I missed something here. Oh, I did! I completely missed this door! <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We're okay. I'm just having a struggle. Just a slight... minor struggle. Yo! I just got an achievement. Mercy is the mark. Fuck yeah! Target spared. Dodd. All right, let's be sneaky here. Okay, use the tunnel under Dodd's base. What now? Rudshore gate. Okay, so we just need to escape. Oh geez, okay, those are rats. Oh, and there's a bone charm. Ah! Okay, good, they didn't follow me. All right, there's a chair, there's the rats. Let's turn this off. Oh, Christ, we have a room way the there. Okay, so I guess we can kind of explore. If we so desire. I almost 
just want to go see. Okay, I want to go see if this guy will like freak out on me. I kind of want to go talk to him. think they round people up because there's a cure? They're city guards. <coughs> They're <coughs> supposed to protect people. They're not, though. They did. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. Any chance? Poor things. What when I get out of there <coughs> and get better, I'm going to do right this time. A fresh start. This time. I think he's uh, dying, man. Goodbye, my boy. Aw. Strange. You don't look ill. You're not a victim, not a guard. A spirit from the void, maybe. Another wagon comes every few minutes. How many do you think have died? They say a third of the city. I wouldn't have believed it, but I saw the mound of corpses myself. They dropped us in it. I don't blame them. I know why they do it. But I only wanted to die at home. I'm sorry I can't help you, bro. Sorry! I'm sorry! No, I'm sorry! No! No, he's running for me like I- No! No, <laughs> I didn't want to make him afraid of me! I can't. I can't let this lie. I can't have him be afraid of me. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna jump on him this time and make him afraid of me because that would really make me sad. I don't, I don't want him to be afraid of me. Pretty empty here, honestly. Aw. Everybody's like dying, man. Who throws away perfectly good Tiffy and Or? There's more bodies. Wow, you well. Okay, there is a person up there. Yeah, I think they're a weeper. They they be coughing. Oh, why did I do that? There's a sink right here. Oh well. Alright, she's right above. Uh, 
Is she gonna turn around? I would I would prefer not to kill her. You know what, this is what we're gonna do. Well, it said plague victim. Right? a plague victim. She's not like as far as a weeper. Shit. Now I don't know. Now I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Maybe if I replay this I'll fuck around with it. Alright. Dear Alpha, we don't care if you're sick. Please come home. We'll take care of you. I'm not afraid. Your sister tells me that you're planning on hiding in the flooded district and that you want to die alone there. Please don't do that to us. Please. I love you. So this is Alpha. We'll put her in her bed. I'll leave her her food. It's jammed, huh? Ooh, Spirits of the Deep, excerpt from a longer work of fiction. Spirit of the Deep, Siren of the Dreams. I walked for hours along the coast, leaving Dunwall behind me until the lament of the waves drowned all other feeling. I wept. Knowing you would not come to me, my love. You rule my dreams, where I behold the senses I do not possess in waking life, the dark splendor of your home in the deep. There the ocean rests on your back like a sleeping child on his father's shoulders. In these sleepless nights of despair, you appear to me not as the almighty Leviathan, but as a young man, with eyes as black as the void. Hmm. Now I want to know if she said anything. I gotta look it up or this is gonna bother me. I couldn't really find anything, but um I don't know. I don't know. It'll it'll be something I I wonder about. Maybe one day I'll I'll replay. I don't know. Alright, wasn't there a sink? Yeah, there's a sink. <sighs> but I didn't kill her. She's just lying in bed, having a having a nice little nap, and everything's fine. We do need to find a way to get up top, though, to that uh, rune. might have to... Where's there? We can't go higher from there. We might have to go... Gosh! I mean, maybe. Maybe that would... I don't know. I don't know how I get up there. Because those tracks are electrified. And I can't get on top of that because it's just gonna go. Oh, yep. Yep, those are definitely, definitely electrified. I thought so, but I, I had to, I had to test. You know me. Where does this lead me? Ooh, what's this? Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish there was a bird around. That I could just take possession of it and fucking fly. Stand this way. The plague wagon is in a couple of minutes. Just need to get on top of it and ride out of here. Okay, great, smart guy. 
And what do we do when we hit the wall of light on what short gate? We'll be fraught. I don't know if he'll, he... I, I don't think... I think he saw me, but didn't really care. Can I not talk to you? Mosley's warehouse key. All right, so. All these rats crawling all over. All right, so I can I can probably get back up to that thing over there through here. Oh, look at all this! Wow. You know what? Oh, okay. A uh, letter to Ferg. Hey Ferg, a word of advice on your greedy little treasure hunting trips to the flooded district. If you find yourself stranded and the only way out is through Redshore Gate, this rewire tool will come in handy. If you can get through the doors, the circuitry panel for the Wall of Light is just on the other side. Better yet, let me come with you. I'll handle the complicated things. Craggy. Interesting. So I'll just take that. All the others down with the sickness. Okay. All right. Great. All right. I think this is a fabulous place to stop. Um, because we got a little more exploring to do here before we continue on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Love your face. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>